So this is a quick video, Mario again with MIA Microflight of these uh, screwdrivers and the reason I'm doing this is because I just finished designing this electric screwdriver because I've had the need for a small screwdriver similar size to the Husky uh, manual screwdriver but I just couldn't find one. I mean the type of screwdrivers that are out there in a precision type size are such as uh, this particular one from Husky and there are other ones that are, I guess there are copies of this one and most of the screwdrivers that are out there are bulky or don't have the torque or don't have the speed that I was requiring for the stuff that I do. Now the stuff that I do is most of you have seen my work and I use a lot of 632 hardware in some of these ultralights that are 60 inch wingspan so I needed something with a little bit more torque than these precision screwdrivers offer. A little more sport, uh, torque and speed and so this is the reason why I decided to design my own now here's one that I designed, it's a 3D printed case. It does have an internal motor with gear re reduction inside this section here. Now it's very much similar to the way these are built. They all use similar size motors and 20 motors with a gear reduction unit. But the trick is in making sure that you have the proper gear reduction for the application. These run at about, I believe, 100 to 150 RPM. This one right here runs at close to three times as fast as this one and it also has about twice as much the torque of this particular screwdriver so th this is the the benefit of uh, designing my own now some people use servos because they do have uh, servos that are high torque and all you have to do is to remove the electronics from there and go direct uh, power to the motor with a couple uh, switches you know for left and right and you have a screwdriver I mean people have been doing that for many many years but it's not as clean as designing your own in a nice compact size that looks like a screwdriver so it's the reason why I also decided to do my own in 3D printed version. And the switching here is back and my forward or reverse and forward right on the end here and I decided to put this here because for me it's a lot more comfortable doing this than reaching back here and doing that. Okay. So this is the reason why I decided to do mine right here with the two switches. The other reason was these switches that I'm using here are um, just your typical micro single pole double throw switches and I needed to put them somewhere where they were not uh, obtrusive and this is the, the way I, I got around uh, doing that. I mean I could have stuck these uh, over here on the side but you know you typically hold a screwdriver or at least I hold the screwdrivers like this and when I'm working on very compact uh, areas such as my uh, radio control ultralights I have very small space in between the tubes to insert a uh, screwdriver and and this one uh, fits uh, quite nicely you know for that application so I just simply hold it and then I, all I have to do is you know insert it align it with the screw and, and do my my job there so it's a very compact size I mean I was thinking or even going more compact with this and bringing the battery here this is a rechargeable lithium-ion battery 3 volt battery I was going to put that right underneath this here and it would have been more compact half the size of that but you start getting too bulky on the front end here so I wanted to keep the ergonomics of this screwdriver I love the screwdriver because it fits really nice in the palm of the hand they make so many similar sizes of this screwdriver from various companies uh, do that from uh, anywhere from two dollars on up to you know fifty uh, even a hundred dollars you can easily spend on a precision screwdriver with this size now this one's from Husky this one's about 10 years old I've had similar screwdrivers but this is the one that I use most of the time for precision and even you know uh, just regular work you know more more heavy-duty work so this is a very nice screwdriver it comes with three bits and the bits use um, micro bits you know for precision work or you can use just a regular bit fits on a uh, very well on a 632 size screw or the equivalent of that would be a M4 type of hardware so it's a very nice screwdriver and I wanted to keep the same uh, consistency and feel I mean although this one is not taper but it is it is compact it's very much in line with that size that was one of the requirements is, is size and so that's the reason for this one now this one is my second iteration and I designed this one to include a gasket a rubber gasket here which I have to 3d print in uh, a flexible filament and that's the reason for this gap right here the other thing I need to do here is finalize my pockets for my screws now these are not the final screws 
the pockets for this one will be very similar to this one here. You notice how those are recessed and you can't see the screws. So I have to recess these pockets into the model uh, in, in the design. So I've already started doing that. And the final one will use smaller hardware. These are 256 hardware, which is an American standard a screw size. But in the final ones, I think I'm going to go with 1.5 millimeter self-threading screws, which will be these little tiny screws, and it'll be much cleaner. And you won't see that the heads. So that will take place on my final one, but this is just for a mechanical fit and, and to see how when this is assembled, it, it'll work. And as you can see, it's very smooth, very, very easy. And the fact that this is square right here at the front end, I also have, you know, if I needed to put a little more force into it, I can use this to push into it. You know, it's like a thumb stop right there. I mean, not a big deal, but I thought I'd, I'd point those things out. So this is the screwdriver that I designed, you know, basically just by having the need and not finding something similar with the torque and speed. You can probably find similar diameter electric screwdrivers but a little bit longer like I said most of them are in this particular length and some are even designed for manufacturing that have cords and hooks and you know just too too many things you know I, I wanted something compact something that I can recharge the other thing that I'm going to be introducing here is a charger a, a jack and with a USB charging plug that I can simply attach this to a, ch a charging just a regular cell phone charger and that'll charge my screwdriver Batteries, like I said, a single 3-volt uh, uh, lithium-ion cell. Uh, there are uh, batteries that are much thicker than, than, than these. And that'll, of course, if I wanted to use some, some of those for a longer runtime, I could do that by increasing the size of the handle. So I can also do that, and this will still be the same size lengthwise, and it'll still fit comfortably in the palm of my hand. But for now, it's just a 3-volt with that particular AA size battery. I've been working on this on and off. About a week ago, I finished this because I was just finding the need to have this little tool in my toolbox. So now that I have it, it's making my job a lot easier. And this one still remains, you know, on my shelf because I rarely use the screwdriver. I mean, it's a very nice screwdriver. I wish this had the torque and speed that this one has. I'll put them side by side. Notice the speed on this one. That's maximum speed. These batteries are freshly charged. Okay, now listen to the speed on this one. Hear the difference? Much, much faster than this screwdriver here, and that's what I wanted. I want something a little faster, but it also has the torque. I'm trying to stop this with my finger as, as I'm forcing the speed there, but I can't. You know, it's got quite a bit of torque, there, this little guy here. See, this one doesn't have as much torque. And this is great, like I said, for cell phone uh, uh, work. If you're doing work on your computer, you know, little tiny screws is great for that. But for something uh, that requires, you know, a little more torque, a little more serious work, like the screws that I mentioned, you know, 632, 440s, 256, even 832s, and even quarter tw 20 screws, I can, I can use this one as I've used this screwdriver just by changing the bit, just going with a thicker bit. And so these bits are also interchangeable. You, know, you can just pop a, a, a new bit, different head style, and you know you can use it for pretty much anything. You can put a hex key there. You know these are all very handy tools, but this is designed according to my specifications as I have described in this video. Anyway, once again, this is Mario with MIA Microflight. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stop by my website www.micro-flight.com. I'm going to be adding some new models there. I just uh, revamped that site not too long ago. It's got uh, it's a brand new, and so I'll be adding uh, a lot more stuff than what's there. Thanks for watching.